all over there. And I'd like to now bring up another interesting place that you're finding descendants of the Israelites, but may not necessarily be from the Ten Tribes, but will also play a role. And it shouldn't be overlooked. It's a very serious scenario. It's, it's in Africa. Africa has perhaps hundreds of millions of people with this identity right now of being from the people of Israel. Does that mean they were from the Ten Tribes? Likely not. We were taught by the historians and within our own traditions that when the Romans conquered Judea a few hundred years after that the tribes of Israel went into exile, perhaps millions of Judeans were sold into slavery, into Africa, into Rome, deep into Africa. And if you look now, you're seeing people who are most likely the descendants of those slaves who kept true. I'd like to bring up a few specific examples because they're going to be game changers. One of them wrote letters to Israel when it became a state. And they said, we're, uh, we're Israelites out in Africa. You know, everyone laughed at them and they said, African Israelites, these people are just trying to jump on the first world country bandwagon. They're living in a third world country, they got nothing. We're coming to Israel, we got innovation, technology. So they're trying to get on this train because there's such a thing called the right of return. All descendants of the Jewish people from around the world are able to move to Israel. So they, they said, we are also. And everyone kind of laughed at them, like I said. And a few people took it serious and went out there and started studying them, learned about their culture. And a professor from Duke University went out there and did DNA testing on them. And he showed not only do they share Semitic genes from people who were in Yemen and back to the Middle East, these gentlemen, a large percent of them, have the Y chromosome to be Kohanim, to be priests. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, a priest is a specific family clan of the nation of Israel who come from Aaron, the brother of Moses, who was the first priest. And anyone descended from Aaron is, has the, the, the status title priest. And we found that these men in this village in South Africa called Lemba, L-E-M-B-A, carry this genetic marker to let us know that they share the same as from the Svartic and the Ashkenaz and, and the population of the people in Israel today, they share the same exact DNA marker. That's mind-blowing. So everyone kind of got humbled a little bit who, who laughed at them and said, now, now, now what? Now what do we do about this? This could have tremendous implications. Another area in Africa you have uh, something big happening is in Nigeria. You have the Igbo people, or Igbo, pronounced either way. There's 40 million of them, also Christians, like I spoke about before, how that could happen to the children of Israel very easily. But also a lot of them are now coming out and converting back or adopting the, the rules of the Torah without all the paganism that they've been practicing for hundreds of years. There's been books written about it from scholars in Nigeria, from scholars from the Jewish people. And where it gets interesting is, in America, there was a slave trade. And a lot of the slaves, a very high percentage of them, came from Western Nigerian ports. And in America today, you see a, a very large movement of African Americans who say that they're the real chosen people, that they're the children of Israel, they're the Judeans. You know, so what, are they just trying to create a, an identity for themselves because they were slaves, or is there really something here? And the answer is, most likely there is something there. And most likely, maybe that they were the original Israelites, and maybe that the Jewish people today who are white Caucasian people um, came in a little bit later on. We know that some of the greatest sages of the transmission of the Torah were converts from Rome. You have a man named Unculus who, who wrote a commentary on the Torah, unprecedented, that we still learn today. He was a convert. Some of the largest pillars on the transmission today were Roman converts. So here we are, we're, you know, I'm speaking, we're ca Caucasian Jewish people, and now you have people in Africa saying that they're the real people of Israel. It can't be ruled out at all. We know they were sold into slavery. We know now that they're fulfilling prophecies by saying, we're coming back. We want to rejoin the nation.